is here on the bottom the right hand side of Odyssey Ladder Edition. It's not the name you see on screen, but playing for Nocturnal Gamers, it's Serial! Here we have at the top left, it's from Psionic Aftermath, none other than Fire Zerg. Yes, indeed. Now, both these players have gone for very similar builds, but Fire Zerg right. up about two drones. However, also up on the army supply. Um, the On the other hand, uh, Serial, much faster metabolic boost. Are you expecting to see like a massive Ling Baneling push from him? He's got the Baneling Nest quite a bit earlier than his opponent. Serio uh, definitely planned this ahead of time. He got mm -hmm. a faster gas, got a faster pool, and mm -hmm. of course, because of that, he got a later hatch. Now, right. what he wants to do is that if you can see, uh, the Fire Zerg's Overlord has already come near. Mm -hmm. If I think the strategy is to pull up all your lings and just wait for that moment for the speed to be done and then go mm -hmm. on for an attack. Now, it seems that uh, the two lings are coming out and they're just kind of like fakes. You're like, okay, I have a really brushed speed and they're just sending out as the normal timing. It's trying right. to trick the opponent. Okay, well, Baneling Nest about just about to finish for Fire Zerg. He is taking a third base, no third base for Serial. So yeah, he does have like the Baneling Nest, but if this becomes a very committed attack and there's no indication that it won't be very committed. Oh, and now here it comes. Out. Yeah, uh, Fire Zerg has definitely saw that. He cancels the third hatch and pulls mm -hmm. all the drones. A very clever uh, response. And now we just have to see how well he can defend us to that. Well, he's tucked these Banelings into the corner. There is a nice wall up here with just the Queen. So there's not a lot for Fire Zerg to target, but the Banelings rolling, 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 trying to wait to stay alive until those Banelings just complete. Circling back around, he only needs two Banelings to kill all four, but just not yet connecting. Oh! Oh, that all is a one valuable Bane. destination right there. Pfizer cannot afford to lose Banelings right now. No, these Banelings splitting off very well, but Shipmap's pulling off a lot of his own links. Still got a lot of links left for backup, but there's a one Baneling left for Firezark. He's going to be really careful that this other Baneling completes does complete, and he is slowly morphing in some extra Banelings. But at this point in time, it looks like there's still a lot of links on the field for both of these players, and that is becoming the definitive uh, like pushback between these two players. I don't know, Shad. There are no reinforcements that's immediately coming, but with these 18 links that are coming in, uh, things could change a bit, that's for sure. But yeah. what Fire Zerg is doing well is that with the correct Overlord placements, he's knowing that this attack is not going to stop anytime soon. Oh, he got so close to that Bane dude. That, oh, that was pretty off. No, uh, Fire Zerg definitely got a later start, and there's a drone difference of around 9. Mm -hmm. so he Fire Zerg needs to do more ground. damage. Yeah, definitely has to do some more damage. Third base is starting now. Ship maps does see that serial on the uh, yeah serial. Um, we've got some uh, still no more drones coming for for serial here. So right. is this the last leg of this attack or? A serial probably knows that if he stops now, there's no way of catching up in the mid game. So mm -hmm. he is going for a one last attack, and if if Fire Zerg plays it smart, then he should be able to hold this like he did before. Gotcha. It's interesting to see that he has not tried to transition yet into roaches with all of this pressure. And, ooh, some really good uh, banelings here. But, oh, ooh, that was a great destination. Yeah, that was amazing, dude. Four banelings. Still clumped up, though. That's one issue. Pfizer did go back to making drones, but mm -hmm. it seems that with the continuous production, it seems that he is able to hold this after all. With the oh. inevitable difference in the supply. Oh, that was a great baneling detonation. Yeah, dude, some really good surrounds here by uh, Serial. Um, and there's mostly just Banelings on the field right now. For Fire Zark, he's got to be really careful to get some of his own Ling reinforcements in. That is very key right here. And there we go. <gasps> oh, oh, good pickup no, there. That, that could have been a great detonation, but unfortunately, it missed it. Yeah, he picks up a morphing Baneling as well. Lings and Banelings all over the map. Fire Zerg moving across the map into the middle of the map. He wants to get his own offensive push going. Does kill off another morphing Baneling and now Serial being forced into a more defensive posture. More Lings on the way here for Fire Zerg converting his extra economic advantage here into a much, much bigger army. He's got 13 army spy on his opponent here. It seems that while the initial drone seemed a bit risky, he was able to handle that very well. And now, he doesn't even want to go for the macro game anymore. He knows that there are no drones on the natural, he just has to attack. 
and all there's left for him is should be able to take this game. Yeah, and he's just using the positional advantage these banelings create to make sure that the links can never actually attack. It does kill off the two banelings, and that's going to allow Serial to move in here with his own links. But there's still a huge number of links here for Firezard. He's got a great surround here. He's got to be really careful not to let those banelings complete, however, and he pulls off a small number of links to deal with those and kills off one, kills off the other. And that is going to be it, Nocturnal Gamers. Tapping out Psionic Aftermath going up. 1-0 in this best of seven sluggy. What really set that game apart? Where did things change for Firezer? I would say that uh, while it did prove to be a very effective uh, deception in the mm -hmm. initial part with his two slow links uh, intentionally showing to the overlords, mm -hmm. the problem was that uh, it just seemed like it waited for too long for that kind of attack to be made. Mm -hmm. uh, the two queens were already out, and with the lack of good detonation, it just seemed that Fire Zerg was able to take the game with a superior defense and production.